In the book of 1 John chapter 4, we read, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. This verse is loaded. Look at this. Beloved, please don't just believe everything you hear. Try the spirits, whether they are of God. Test to see if they are of God. Why? Well, here's why. Because many false prophets are gone out into the world. This is your permission to try everything, to test everything, to see if it's from God, to protect your faith. All right, so I'm at the YouTube channel of One Troy Black. My objective today according to the instruction of Holy Scripture, is to, de to determine whether this person is an actual prophet of God, if he truly is hearing from God. Remembering what we're told also in Deuteronomy chapter 18, verses 20 through 22, all it takes is one false prophecy. That's it. Why? Well, because God is perfect. And God never misses. See, this is the problem with people that hate me for doing things like this. I'm following biblical instruction, while the 224,000 who are gleefully subscribed to people like this, they don't care whether this person is correct or not. But I do because I believe God is perfect. They don't. And I know this seems harsh, but it's true. So in looking right on the video tab here, uh, you can see the subscriber count. And right off the bat, I, I already see a problem, um, at least to the degree that I'm going to test this. God told me, God told me, God told me, God said, God told me, God told me. This person is not bashful in proclaiming himself to be some great one, uh, apparently God is telling him a lot of stuff. All right, so the video I'm going to be focusing on today is this right here. Look at the bold title. God just showed me this about March and April. This is troubling. 830,000 views on this one video. This was made January 29th of 2021. Just to put this into perspective, this is like eight football stadiums filled with people. So the reach that this man has is incredible. A lot of people are listening to this man, and that is troubling. And I'll show you why. We're going to listen to this clip right now, and we'll comment as we go. So while I was praying about this and just waiting upon the Lord, I heard uh, several very specific things. I don't claim uh, to have a perfect interpretation for these visions or honestly even for the words that I heard. Um, okay, that right there is so nonsensical. If that's the case and you don't have a perfect interpretation, why are you making a video to influence over 800,000 people? Have you ever heard Isaiah, Jeremiah, Daniel say anything remotely close to this? Either you're hearing from God or you're not. And if you are hearing from God, well then this title makes sense. But if you don't understand or have a perfect interpretation, why are you making this video? Because you're taking a chance. Like, hey, I heard something. I'm really not sure if it's true, but here you go. And then claiming it's from God. So that's extremely troubling when I heard this, but let's continue. Um, I, am, I am not going to say this exact specific thing is going to happen on this date, uh, but I do believe the Holy Spirit gave me a, a semi-specific word of knowledge, and I'm going to share that with you. I heard several things. I heard national meltdown, uh, something to do with the societal structure, and, and even partly um, a political thing. And I also heard semi-crisis. All right, I want you to remember that term, semi-crisis. Then I heard, apparent enough that the world will take notice. This is going to be a semi-crisis, something that resembles a national meltdown, that is apparent enough that the world is going to take notice. 
I, I have not heard anything from the Lord ab about this specifically being related to currency. It may be related to that. Um, it may not. Uh, but is this is it just me or does this sound like a psychic reading? He's got his papers, uh, you know, tarot cards in front of him, and he's saying, "I'm really not sure. This is what I heard. This is that. This is that." But this does this sound like the authority of God? And you see, this is why so many of these alleged prophets do sound like psychic readers. It's the same format. But that was something that was specifically in the vision. And then as I continued to pray about this, this is the other thing I heard that was very specific. The Holy Spirit said, Spain is like a runaway train. It's on track for disaster. Okay, so again, uh, just listening to the words of Troy Black, is it a semi-crisis or is it a, a disaster? A runaway train, he says. This, this part, he said, was very specific. So how does he preface it with, I'm not sure really, you know, if this is true, uh, or this part is for sure very specific. Note the times here. He said March and April. So he did put a time on this. Now he says, well, I didn't, I didn't give a day. Well, you did get all, all the days in uh, March and April. So if this doesn't happen, then certainly you can only conclude that he's a false prophet. That disaster is going to happen in April of this year. Um, and while I prayed about this, um, I believe the Holy Spirit showed me that it was going to be for disaster. That disaster is going to happen in April of this year. Um, okay, so if you need to, you can write all this down. A disaster, a runaway train. Uh, he's not sure if it's financial, but either way, the world will take notice. And then, of course, it's going to happen in March and April. There is no other interpretation. It can't come afterwards, right? Because he titled it. It's set in stone. What is today? Today is May 2nd of 2021. Did anything happen in, uh, what did he say, Spain? And the answer is no. Have you checked the news? Has anything happened in Spain? The answer is no. So your conclusion can only be that this person is not only a false prophet, but whoever is giving him this vision is not from God. Either you believe this guy or you believe God. And you see, this is where people get into trouble. The followers, some 200 and almost 230,000, sadly, they don't care. And this is the other troubling part about this. 230,000 people are being entertained by this guy who looks like, you know, the all-American kid next door. But he's deceiving people. And this, again, why is that so significant? Well, because what Troy doesn't see is the countless people who may have been on the fence about coming to Jesus Christ and they hear this guy who says that God is speaking through him. And the time that he allotted, uh, it comes and it passes, and then they feel foolish. They walk away not from Troy. They walk away from God. And you see, this is the damage that the false prophets are doing. People's faith are being made shipwreck because of this utter nonsense. All right, so I'm over at Troy's About tab here. Uh, seems like a, a nice guy. You know, he, he, he tells you, my heart is that you would go deeper in your walk with Jesus. Well, false prophecy is not a good way to get people to go deeper in their walk with Jesus. You scroll down a little bit further, you can see he's got a website. Well, look at that. You can Patreon him. You can set yourself up to donate money. This is very troubling. If we click on his website, here we are at his website, and of course you have the Give tab. He says, in the last few years, I've had the privilege of leading hundreds of people to Christ through my messages. And those are just the ones that I was able to count. That seems very non-humble 
but he's selling himself. And again, looking like the all-American kid next door, you know, I, I just find it troubling. Uh, he says, support me and my family on Patreon. If you come down here, it says your gift will help pay for things like my family's personal bills. Why? Why is that happening? And, and then time off? Time off from what? Now, I, I don't know whether he has a job or not. But in essence, really what you're doing is you're paying this guy to falsely prophesy. And you can give there. Or you can go to PayPal. So he has several means, or several means to receive income. And while, you know, at the same time bragging about how many people that he's led to Christ. Have those people been led to Christ? Or have they been led into a false ministry which falsely prophesies? Back on his video tabs, uh, again, in noting the thumbnail, the sale, I call it, uh, he certainly sells the fact that, well, he says God is speaking to him. One particular video caught my eye, this one right here. How to identify false versus real prophets biblically. This is ridiculous. Uh, all the, you know, corners are covered here. But I find it, you know, very disturbing. Now, I'll close the video by saying this. I, I'm doing this, yes, to expose Troy Black, but I do have hope for Troy. You know, I, I don't hate him. I hate what he's doing. And if he really loves Jesus, and in the love, and for the love of Jesus Christ, Troy, I'm asking you to repent of this nonsense. It is nonsense. Nothing that you've ever prophesied has come to pass that couldn't be passed off as a 50-50 chance or something other, you know, absurdly vague statement. And though you may truly have love in your heart for Jesus, uh, please harness that and recognize that you have indeed falsely prophesied. And I, my prayer, and, and I will sincerely pray for Troy Black, but my prayer is that he will address this. Please address this. Come out, repent, leave social media, at least until you get time with Christ and seek the truth of Jesus Christ and serve him in truth and sincerity. Because I've never seen a false prophet repent. And Troy, I, I pray that you wouldn't continue that streak. I pray that you would repent in and for the love of Jesus Christ because it's not worth it. Please be the first. Show the people that you truly love Jesus Christ. Repent and come into the truth of Jesus Christ. Oh, stop this. God told me stuff. Preach the Bible.